Hey guys, yours truly, Kevin Grace. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada at Palm Memorial Cemetery, paying my respects to a boxing great. Passed away at a young age of 29 years old in 2007. <sighs> he was a uh, multiple champion. He was one time the lightweight champion and also at one time he was the junior lightweight champion. Now his fight against Floyd Mayweather ended in a defeat for him. It was a 10 round TKO. But his fight in 2005 against Jose Luis Castillo was fight of the year. He had a record of 40 wins, 5 losses, and 33 knockouts. And wow, he had so much more that he definitely could offer the sport. But uh, on May 7th, 2007, he was involved in a high-speed motorcycle accident. He was wearing a helmet, but he ran in the back of a car and the accident uh, took place about 10 miles, uh, I believe, northwest of the Las Vegas Strip. So, uh, fortunately, he passed away, but this is beautiful headstone here. I want to pay my respects to him. Got a beautiful picture of him here. And I uh, want to put a little boxing gloves down here as I do some other boxing champions that I've paid my respects to. And you can see it says on here, 100 30 pounds, he was a world champion, and 135 pounds, he was the world champion. Diego Corrales Jr., August 25th, 1977. I believe he was born in Sacramento, California, and he passed away on May 7th, 2007. Beloved husband, father, son, brother, friend, and fighter, give me one more round. So if you do come here, he's buried right by this uh, pond in the background here. This area is called the Garden of Reflection. So, and on here, it's got this, wow, a lot of writing on here. Um, this is a nice thing that his wife, Michelle Roche, when I married you, I did so because of the wonderful person you are, what you stood for and how you made me feel. Though our precious moments and experience together, our love has grown. Love and laughter created a life that is far greater than the sum of what our separate lives could have been. Our love joined us together as one, and now you live in, live on in me, in our children, in our hearts, in our souls, and in our beings. You were loved by all who were blessed enough to know you. Your loving wife. Michelle Corrales, I love you more than life itself, and I always will. So this is really, really nice. And there's a uh, some kind of poem here. It says, uh, too well loved to ever be forgotten. Um, so under here, um, it's got these words on here. But this is a really beautiful monument. So if you do come here and pay your respects, you know where... To find Diego Corrales. If you like this video, please subscribe down below. Feel free to leave any comments about champion Diego Corrales Chico. Before we get started for this great night of boxing on HBO World Championship Boxing, at this time we must pause to pay honor to a member of the boxing fraternity who tragically and suddenly was taken from us in a traffic accident just days ago. He will forever be remembered for his courage and KO power, and his legacy will always include his big heart, equaled only by his big smile. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, Please remain silent as the timekeeper tolls a memorial count of 10 for a fallen hero, three-time world champion, Diego Chico Corrales.
Rest in peace, Chico. Round 10, scheduled for 12. Time, time, get over there, get over there. Go, time in, let's go. Tony Weeks checking the tape on the left glove of Castillo. They touch gloves, and here we go again. The WBC WBO unification lightweight title fight. Oh, oh. what a left hook by Castillo, and Corrales is down. The mouthpiece Three. comes out. You all right? You want to continue? Okay, here we go. Time. Come here. Come they in. get the mouthpiece back. He was in. up at eight. Put it in. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. No Let's Goosen go. trying to get involved. What a dramatic moment here in round 10 as Corrales hits the canvas. Castillo looking to finish it here. He goes down again. Takes the Three. mouthpiece out. Four. Come here. You all right? You all right? I'm going to penalize you. Take him one point off. Time. One point off here. One point off. One point. Excessive spitting out of the mouthpiece. A point deducted. Come on, come on. He's spitting out the mouthpiece. To make matters even worse now. He's got to fucking get his light on him now. Dreadful round go. for Corrales. Down two times here in the tenth. Again, Castillo going back to work. And if Corrales can get through this round, the dynamic of the fight has now changed to the point where he may very well need a knockout. With a minute 35 to go, he's got a long way to go, Corrales. No, 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 but he no, no. just hurt Castillo with the right hand, or at least pushed him back. That was astonishing, and he hurts him with a hook. Corrales comes back, a straight right, now Castillo against the ropes. Unbelievable. Evans low. Standing here, Mandalay Bay. Corrales coming back after being on the canvas twice here in the tent. Now Castillo steps back. Corrales winging. Castillo's in trouble. Leak steps in, and the fight is over. Corrales with a remarkable, dramatic turnaround to win this fight. Unbelievable. Diego Corrales said he would go through hell before losing this fight. He may have. That might be the single most extraordinary comeback within a round to win a fight that has ever happened. Used the jab all night. And the second knockdown of the round for Mayweather. There are 20 seconds left in the round. <laughs> Knockdowns, Larry. The first one was right as the at the bell. Surprise. But the later ones, it appeared that Corrales was okay and aware of everything going on. But he's in a position. You heard Miguel Diaz saying, we're gonna stop the fight if you don't start throwing some punches. So he throws punches, but takes punches in return. Larry Merchant has seen more championship great fighters than anyone at this table. And for him to say Willie Pelt, what do you think? Well, throw it. Another little left hook. Didn't even seem like that big a punch. Good shots. Right hand, another knockdown. Fifth knockdown of the fight. Three. Fifth knockdown of Corrales' career. Another mark of what a performance it's been. Ray Woods is up on the apron. That's going to be the end of the fight. And Corrales goes over and nearly accosts his dad for having stopped the fight. Corrales to come back. 138. Steele is holding Corrales to try to keep him away from his own corner man because Diego is so upset. And still, the reigning undefeated WBC Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Pretty Boy Floyd May.